of our adventure here in uh, Havana, Cuba. We're so excited, all right? So uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, update and uh, all right, see you in a little bit. de perros, mira, no me voy. Sí, sí, la otra comemos mucho eso. ¿En serio? Sí, yeah, okra. Kimombo, eh. le dicen. Ya tuvo que ver Yeah. 
Bueno. ¿No ¿Queréis la idea? Vamos a ir que está más cerca. Cojones. Sí, pues todos los hoteles son igual. Es lo que dicen. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to the hotel real quick, right here. Look how beautiful this is here. We're just gonna go to the hotel because we're gonna exchange some money. Yeah, right Mira, eso es que las cuadras aquí son más chiquitas, no como allá en Mérida. ¿Es el cuadro? ¿Sabes también? Sí, ya estamos llegando allá. Pues se ve más tranquilo, ¿verdad? No, no. la señora esa de... ¿verdad? Yeah. Oh, tú cogiste tu sandwichito. Ya. Yeah. Right. exchange any money at the hotel because the exchange rate was really shitty and the lady told us just go to the bank the bank is still open I'm like oh okay so we're gonna go to the bank real quick 
change our money. That's how we roll out here. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we need our fucking passports in order to exchange money. So now we're back to so get our passports, to exchange the money, so we can go back and start our day. Aquí mira. And it's funny because, you know, I was just making the comment to the fact that, you know, this is, um, you know, just like in the U.S., you know, you need to have all your fucking forms of, my, of ID to do any kind of anything. Same thing out here. So it's like, again, you know, the, the more I'm out here, the more we're out here, the more it reminds me of the U.S. in all the bad ways, you know? Anything bad or negative around here is shit that I just hated from the U.S. Everything else is awesome, honestly. You know, look, even dogs taking a piss in the street. You can't beat that shit. Trying to make light of the situation, all right? No, no happy right now, okay? Wasting time. All right, let's get back to it. We're almost, we're like a block away. We, we're gonna get this fixed, though. Look at this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gracias, perrito. Lo sentí, ya me siento mejor ya. Yeah. <risa> los tips que no te dicen en los putos videos de YouTube. Exactly, and, and you know, that's what she was just saying, like of all the YouTube videos we fucking saw, none of them ever fucking told us to bring us our fucking passport. So, well guess what, we're gonna talk more about that and make sure that we don't fuck it up. But yeah, you gotta have your passport with you anytime you wanna exchange money. But still, we had to end up walking a lot, many, many blocks in circles. All right, so we're gonna get to the apartment and we're gonna try this again. I'll see you guys uh, back when we get there. <laughs> Very frustrated. All righty. Well, crisis averted. We finally got the money. Now we're back on our way to the museum. It was even raining. It was a really, really shitty couple hours in the morning, but. Uh, we got it all done. Um, seems like a lot of people were having a shitty morning this morning. I guess it's just one of those days, but nothing major. All good. You know, everything outside of like dealing with like the banks, you know, dealing with the airport, just dealing with uh, government agencies, you know, again, you know, just the same thing as uh, back home. They're a fucking disaster. It doesn't matter what the fuck, you know? Um, so yeah, more government always sucks.
¿Tú tienes mi camisa? No. Gracias, José. se llama que directo para allá ya. It's really interesting because there's like a million security guards here and a million personnel that work. And it's very strict. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I'm even allowed to, to film up in here. Um, but yeah, they took our bags, they took our information. Um, it costs five bucks per person to get in here. We're just in the first, first room. There's a lot to see. I'm looking at it, it's awesome. Just trying to cool off because again we spent the last two hours um, trying to exchange money, find a place to exchange money, then have to go back to the place, get a passport, just go through a whole ordeal just to get here. But uh, at least uh, we're nice and calm now. And I'll talk about more about the adventure later. So I'm just gonna show you guys what's around here, and uh, we'll go from there. You're in the routine so far.
eyes on me. All right. Well, that was very, very interesting museum experience. So we just left the Museum of Classical Art, and now we're going to the Museum of uh, Modern, Modern Art. And we saved some more money as well because since we already paid for a ticket here, um, we only got to pay three more bucks and um, they gave us a ticket for the other place. So that's awesome. So yeah, all right, we're just gonna walk a few blocks till we get there and that's it. We're gonna go get there. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're just in a super duper hurry because, again, this is our last day here and, um, you know, we're just trying to make the most of it and uh, there's just so much, so much to see. Look at that Sloppy Joe's bar. Uh, I wonder if that's the original Sloppy Joe's. Mira, el bar ese Sloppy Joe's. Tú lo conoces, verdad? Pero no, no, es like, eso es una institución americana. It's sloppy Joe's. Qué interesante. I wonder, I really do wonder if that's the, that's the original Sloppy Joe's or one of the first outposts of Sloppy Joe's. If you guys don't know Sloppy Joe's, again, you know, they're all over Florida, they're like an institution. It's a bar, it's, it's America. Huh. It probably goes back to the influence of us back here. Maybe. Se ve. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, as you guys can see, I'm still working on it, and um, it's late into the night. It's Monday night. I'm almost, uh, you know, a few hours away before I finish this bad puppy and upload it so you guys can watch it tomorrow morning, uh, Tuesday morning to be exact. But anyways, enough about that. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying the series too. Um, I put a lot of work into these videos and... Um, you know, hopefully one day, um, you know, someone will watch them and hopefully one day, you know, these videos will get a little bit more traction. But at the end of the day, the main reason I do a lot of these things too is, uh, you know, kind of like uh, a little bit of a time capsule for myself. You know, um, I can always just look back and uh, I got all these memories uh, to look back on. Speaking of which, I want to, uh, you know, speak on a few things um, about the video. Um, when uh, we were um, going to get money exchanged, you know, we were under the impression of, uh, you know, how things are done here in Mexico, where you just go to the money exchange place and you exchange your money. Um, but, the, you know, we were hit with a harsh reality um, when we got there um, after running around for, you know, a long while just trying to get the money exchange. Uh, when we went to the bank that we needed not only our passport, but we needed, uh, you know, to, you know, state the reason why we were exchanging the money and uh, go through all these uh you know uh, jump through all these hoops so you know we had to as you guys saw end up going back all the way to the room um and then going back all the way to the bank and then when i got to the bank you know they took all my information they wrote it down uh you know on top of all that um they were also um asking me you know uh what i was uh you know what i needed the you know what i was using the money for who i was you know all of these things and it was just you know, I'm I'm there on a tour. I'm I'm here on, for, on tourism. How what does it look like I'm doing? Um, and it was funny because when I was at the airport at the money exchange, it was like this official place. It was uh, kind of like the same ordeal, but I didn't really think anything of it. I was still like in the airport, so I just I don't know. I didn't think anything of it. But then, you know, um, 
as far as I know, I think at the hotel is also the same thing. It's just that when uh, we went to the hotel and they gave us like a higher rate than uh, what we knew we were going to get at the bank, um, we just left without even, you know, trying to exchange any money there. But um, I didn't even try to exchange any money there. Um, and I wasn't, you know, able to, you know, um, have the person ask me um, to give her my passport, you know, which, uh, you know, I was I wonder if that would have been maybe a, for anyone out there that's been to Cuba and knows anything about this, maybe uh, uh, the hotel is a place where you can, uh, you know, exchange money without a passport. Maybe this is why, you know, people exchange money on the street um, and avoid going to the bank and stuff like that. Because the thing is, I guess what I'm trying to get at is that in order for you to exchange money, you need to have your passport. And, you know, if you're really, tra if you're traveling abroad, um, the last thing you really want to be doing is traveling with your passport. Um, I, I tend to keep my passport in a safe spot you know, place um, back where I'm uh, staying. Um, and if that is not possible, then yes, you know, I would keep it on myself. But again, you know, I would keep it in the most safe place possible. But it's the last thing I'm trying to do is uh, walk around with my passport because if you lose that in a foreign country, well, you know, that's a headache in its own. Um, but, you know, to get to, um, you know, um, just the whole, um, not just the money exchange and needing the passport situation, but, you know, it seemed that in a lot of places, you know, even the museum, it seemed uh, pretty official, you know, um, where um, when we went there, it wasn't just like going to any museum, paying the cover and going in, but it was, um, it, it's just very eerie. It was just like if we were in, well, we were in a government building, but, you know, I thought museums were more like uh, public buildings and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it really felt like if we were inside a federal courthouse more than a museum. And, and then I'm, I'm not talking about the you know the aesthetics because again those museums were beyond insanely gorgeous like wow you know there's people that travel around from around the world just to go to these museums which by the way i'm going to be showing you in explicit detail in grand detail in uh, future episodes uh not in this one obviously we're almost done with here but you know um yeah you know as i was walking around the museum and uh you know just the whole museum experience was very very eye-opening because uh it was all eyes on me there was a reason i was saying that it was because you know i kept getting mixed signals of uh, you can't film you can't take photographs but then you can but if you this or that and everybody had like a mixed message but you know at the end of the day um they were constantly watching everything i was doing and um, it got to the point where by the end of the day after two museum it was uh, it's like it was just like feeling like a wow just like coming back home you know what i mean i mean you know it was just like it felt like i was in the u.s you know what i mean like with uh not just like um the constant um you know uh scrutiny of uh what you're doing and all this other stuff but you know just the constant um harassment and all these uh you know things that go with that but you know at the end of the day you know cuba was beyond amazing you know i cannot wait to go back it's it's um you know definitely an experience uh, one that i'll never forget um and again i can't wait to go back and i honestly truly mean that and um yeah you know what i mean i really hope that you guys get to at least experience it you know through my eyes through these videos uh and um and if you're even lucky enough to go visit that would be like amazing you know what i mean like that that would be awesome you know but if you ever if you're a traveler out there or if you ever have a chance to go visit um i would highly suggest you know um to definitely visit cuba it's beyond amazing you know despite it's uh you know just uh governmental flaws but hey you know what i mean like every country uh has its thing and um I'm sure that there's a lot of countries out there that are way worse, for sure, definitely. I know that there are, you know. So, you know, at the end of the day, guys, um, yeah, like um, we're going to be watching um, more videos in the future about the museums and more, um, you know, the next few, few videos are, that are going to be coming up are going to be um, museum um, adventures. And then um, I forgot what else. But, yeah, we still have like at least four, five, six more videos at minimum four more videos maximum six seven videos okay i just don't know how much uh, i'm gonna pack into these uh you know um into these museum videos okay but definitely we have at least at the very least four to six more videos and uh you know i think at this point we're at video number eight so it's been uh, pretty awesome that i've gotten you know been able to get so many videos out and uh yeah you know and uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh and joining me and christian actually and uh and seriously and thank you so much for for all the love i really appreciate it and uh i'm just glad you you know not only enjoy this content but enjoy all the content on this channel anyways guys you already know the drill don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon and uh 
don't forget to stay awesome see you guys tomorrow oh and uh, don't forget to watch uh, the you know the other videos okay you know again this is number eight in the series all right thanks again for watching bye Ooh,